Hello. Today. YouTube, hello, welcome to the stream today. We are going to do a trash cleanup. The other day I went grocery shopping. I saw this ditch and it's like a little waterway. There's a ton of trash in there. And it made me mad because there are little froggies that live in there and little fishies that live in there. And I don't like that. And so we're gonna go take the trash out of their house. Like and subscribe. But right now we gotta get boots so that we can wade around in the water, in the trash water. We're a, <laughs> we're a tractor supply, I need rubber boots. Oh yeah, baby. You want horses or you want polka dots? Or chickens? It's kind of sick. Chat, what do you think? All right, I'm taking the chickens. These are big. This is the smallest they have, shit. These are one. These are two. Six. All right, we're going with the two big chicken boots, I think. Two big chicken boots, two small flower boots, yeah? Great. <laughs> we got boots. Time to go clean up some trash. Uh, hello everybody, I am driving. We are a few minutes away from the trash cleanup spot. I bought a... Bassman, what is it called? A trash picker upper. I got a grabber. I got a trash grabber, I have some gloves and I have some uh, trash bags. What did that bumper sticker say? You don't wanna know. The first part was something about like if you're gonna be on my tail, <laughs> right? Like if you're gonna tailgate me. So what did it say after? At least buy me dinner, some stupid shit like that. Oh, is it some like kinky? Mm, something uh, weird, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, why would they put that on the back of their- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who, are you, who are you trying to like connect with? All right, let's change gears. Chat, let's change gears. Okay, all right. One of the reasons that I wanna do a trash cleanup stream, littering is a huge problem for wildlife in a lot of ways. On the largest scale, there's entanglement, right? Like birds, mammals, whatever, can get things caught around their necks, throats. They can get injured that way, they can die that way. Birds, mammals can just consume trash because a lot of the animals, a lot of the wildlife that we have are opportunistic feeders. So you have like raccoons, opossums, crows, that'll pretty much eat anything they can get their little hands on. I'm gonna say this a bunch of times today. You guys know how we handle Georgie with gloves? We handle Georgie with gloves because he has semi-permeable skin and we don't wanna get any of our cooties soaked up into Georgie's skin. There's a bunch of frogs that probably live in this waterway and a bunch of amphibians that live in here that are just soaking up chemicals from plastic and other pollutants in the water. So we're gonna get as much trash out of there as we can. We're here, let's go. My socks have skunks on them. Okay, I feel good. Here are yours. Suit up. You guys like Flip's boots? <laughs> Those are cool. This is important for you guys. Oh, actually, lucky. This mask got so fucked up, it ripped. But when you throw away your masks, they're like disposable masks, it's really good to cut the straps. Because if they're not cut, they end up choking wildlife. Cut the strings of things. If it looks like it's something that could entangle an animal, if it's stringy, cut it up. Okay, I'm really glad I got these boots because I don't know what I'm stepping on right now. If there are any animals in here, just a heads up, I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking here. Our aluminium counts better than plastic Coke bottles. Yeah. Aluminum's better. There are like cardboard can options as well. Thank you for the bits. But you should do yourself a favor and put those boots in the bag. That is so mean. You don't like my chicken boots? A good time. You guys know, dumping plastic in the ocean was legal up until the 90s. And because plastic doesn't break down, it's all the plastic that's been dumped in the ocean since then is still there, because it doesn't go away. But it's broken down into much smaller bits, which is still bad. Bio magnification. Water bottle. Water bottle ends up in ocean. Imagine this water bottle was red. All right, it's like a red plastic bottle. Gets into the ocean. Whatever this was, all this red plastic has been here for a really long time and it's seen rain and erosion and things walking over it and blah, 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 blah. And so this was some kind of complete item and is now a bunch of little pieces of plastic. And it's gonna continue breaking down into even smaller pieces of plastic. Plastic floats, it's super light. And when this fills up with water and starts flowing, it's gonna go into another waterway and it's either gonna end up in a reservoir that we drink from in a plastic size that is so small that it goes through a filter, so we're consuming it anyway, or it's gonna be consumed on the way by Abbott, right? A crow. This is on the ground. It kind of looks like a little, where'd it go? Say this looks like a little berry or like a little piece of pepper. 
right? That bird's gonna eat it, it's gonna remain in its stomach. I don't know if a crow could pass that, maybe. Um, and if it remains in its stomach, then the bird feels full. Bird doesn't eat much more. Bird dies of starvation, even though its stomach is full, just because it's full of plastics that obviously have no nutrients. Bird dies. Bird gets eaten by vulture. Vulture consumes all the plastics that were in the bird's stomach. Vulture dies, so on and so forth. It never goes away. It causes a number of different problems down the road for lots of things that you wouldn't expect. I don't know what plastic's gonna do to us, but it's, it's pretty gnarly. There's a, a several studies that have come out saying like, we consume a credit card's worth of plastic every week, which has been debunked. But depending on your diet, you could be consuming grams of plastic, microplastics every week. If you eat a bunch of seafood, you're definitely consuming microplastic that we can pass because we're large mammals. But like, who knows what those chemicals are doing to us, you know? We just haven't had enough time with it yet to know what happens. Bless you. I'm scared of what's in that bottle, but I also don't want to leave it, so. It looks like this is just a full water bottle. It's clear liquid. It's just a brand new water bottle. Should I drink it? Drink it. You only come out at night. A go-gurt, a mask. So many water bottles. Plastic water bottles are pretty cringe, guys. There's so many cool reusable ones now, and not just like good quality, like they are in, you know? People love their Stanley cups and shit right now. You can just have a cool emotional support water bottle and never need a plastic one. You can get lots of different colors. I love my Stanley, he's a good guy. Oh, good. He's seen better days. Looks like me. Pretty sure that's a bag of shit. No, it's a rock. It's a plastic glove with a rock in it. Cool. Oh my God. Flip, show them this. Fuck. I didn't go this deep into here. I just like looked at it from the top and I was like, wow, it's so much trash. It is 100 degrees right now in Texas. We have all, I don't know what this is called, a bunch of plants, reeds, and it's lying on top of really shallow water. So this is like pretty sweet amphibian habitat. Frogs, toads, salamanders, they have semi-permeable skin. A bunch of salamander species don't even have lungs because they're so good at absorbing oxygen through their skin. But what that also means is when this is sitting in the water and it's leaching off chemicals, that they're absorbing this through their skin. So that adaptation is actually really detrimental for them because humans do this. It's really sad because I know there are amphibians in here and there's just like trash and oil. Can you see this oil, the like lighter stuff? It's just sitting on top from trash. I would get so anxious to hold Georgie with my clean bare hands without gloves because of how sensitive he is and how much he can absorb. Imagine Georgie sitting in this. They're just wild frogs that actually do that. Georgie would hate it here. The other surprising thing about littering, an animal that we haven't talked about today that people don't think about maybe, owls. Everybody loves owls. Everybody loves hawks and birds of prey. When you litter on the roadside and there's food on the side of roads, birds of prey, hawks and owls will learn to sit and wait there for rodents because rodents will go try to get the food off the side of the roads and then birds of prey get hit by cars. It's pretty well documented actually. Bag number two, cookie wrapper, plastic bottle. Another one. Another one. All right, I'm going in here. Everybody heads up. I'm coming in here. Here's a, a big gulp. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. Now we see if these $20 boots are waterproof. There's a little baby dragonfly. Hello. A freaking minion bag? Whose is this? Whose is it? Imagine having a sweet bag like that that's reusable and just throwing it away. Dude, festivals and like concerts and shit. The trash pile up when you have a bunch of humans in one place for an event is like devastating. It just flies everywhere. Bottle. This is a rock. <laughs> I was like, that's a huge, <laughs> this is a rock. The rock can stay. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. Dude, this sucks. This is like a silica packet. Can you imagine like one of these in Georgie's enclosure like what the fuck these are just sitting in the water it's so bad it's literally poison you're not supposed to eat those oh it's strawberry i thought it was a chili flavored truly i was like what the hell is that this is the rocks brand of energy drink this is a u.s medium add bottle honestly it's kind of fun it's kind of satisfying you know what i mean i like picking stuff up 
putting it in bag. Good exercise for small brain. Add bottle. The stream is so trashy, okay? It's not very nice. Does Maya like puns? I don't think I've ever heard a pun that I like, if I'm being completely honest. Every time I hear a pun, I'm just like, oh yeah, good one. But you can feel free to try. I support you. This is nice and spooky. Come here. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. It's like crime scene. <laughs> Add bottle. Add bottle. Would you say what you are doing is a waste of time? I guess that's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't think it's funny. I, there's a problem. I, <laughs> I lied. I don't think it's that funny. Flip, you want to walk through this tunnel? There's water over there. You want to see? Flip, do you like working for me? Because you get to do stuff like this. Dude, that sound is spooky as hell. There is water, but I don't think we can get there. It's too steep and scary. It's, no, this is sketchy as hell, Flip. If we fall, I'm just like in there. I'm not a fucking goat. Actually, if you go like this, it's not so bad. I don't think this is worth though, to be fair. Like, I don't think that was a good idea. <gasps> friends, friends, friends. And now I need to friends. Don't eat any microplastics, understand? It's bad for you. Aw, look at them. Chat, add a bottle, add a bottle, add a bottle. I need another bag. Hey, three bags, three bags down, not bad. Flip, if one of these shooters was full and unopened, would you drink it? Yeah. Really? That's insane. I'm actually shocked this is the first beer can I've found. Wow. Add a bottle. Add a bottle. Jeez. Add a bottle. 31 bottles so far. That's not bad. I mean, it's really bad, actually. 32. 33. 34. So you're telling me if this was full and sealed, you would drink it? Mm -hmm. Flip, that's really nasty. I would have drank that water bottle you found. Had bottle. No, you wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah, why not? Okay. Welcome to my court mandated community service time. They let me not wear my jumpsuit because I was embarrassed. All right, I'm getting really tired. I'm getting like drag my feet tired. These like are hard to walk in. they are hard to walk in. My legs are sweaty. My hands are sweaty. My knees are weak. My arm spaghetti. Whoa. Do not touch poison. You just touch poison. Good. Less poison for the frogs. All right, guys. This is the last piece. I'm so tired. It's actually cringe. I'm embarrassed. I have a headache. <laughs> I have heat exhaustion. No! Okay, I'm tired. This is my fifth bag of trash. It was honestly kind of fun. I mean, I am tired, but that's because it's 100 degrees. I feel like if it was a chill day, is it crazy for me to be like, if you went out with some friends, I feel like it would actually be kind of fun. This was like 10 bucks. You just bring out trash stuff and pick up trash. It's kind of a good time. Damn it. You stupid, stupid. Get in there, stupid. Anyway, I had a good time doing this besides it being really hot. Sometimes when it comes to like protecting wildlife, and saving our planet. It feels like there's not that much that we can do, but this is something that you could do and it's kind of fun and it really does matter. I mean, I talk to you guys about all the different ways that trash can affect wildlife. It's not just animals getting entangled in trash. It's also them eating trash and then it's plastic breaking down and then microplastics and then bio magnification, a bunch of little animals eating microplastics, then bigger animals eat them, then bigger animals eat them. It's just all of the animals on our planet have microplastics in their system right now because we produce so much plastic. By taking it out of ecosystems where it's not supposed to be, you're preventing all of this plastic from being in the stomachs of a wide range of animals. All right, we're not just talking fish, we're talking raccoons and opossums and birds and crows and hawks and vultures. This is a lot of trash to not be not be in that waterway anymore. I'm actually really stoked about it. It feels really good. I don't know. If you guys feel like it, give it a go. It's a good time. It's something you can do. Good for wildlife. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go get some water out of a reusable water bottle now and never drink from a plastic one again. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye. That wasn't a very like enthusiastic outro.